what you gon' do? I'll show you what that. Pop that. Go. Now let me see you go. I'll show you what that. Pop that. Now let me see you go. I'll show you what that. Pop that. Go. Now let me see you go. I mean, it's not bad considering I could not make its throwing heavy attack powerful enough for the level cap. I'm satisfied with what it can do with its slight attacks. You can definitely tell that its high critical stats make this weapon good enough to be your favorite melee and excel in anything you do in Warframe. The Eden is the new Devilry Paradox pull arm used by Drissels. It was meant to be thrown as a heavy attack that would explode after embedding in an enemy, but as I mentioned before, damage issues made me run it as a regular pull arm. During my testing, I was only doing about 600k damage per EV attack throw. It seems that they forgot a bit of the damage multiplier or just considered it was enough. Anyways, I used the uncommon Twirl Inspire stance, which, in my opinion, is way better than the Shimmering Blight one. To stack your combo with this weapon, you need to use the forward attack, to cleave enemies, the block attack, and the neutral attack to kill EV units. If you want to headshot, aim at the stomach of your enemy. This stance neutral attack also does a force slash, making it an excellent choice for dealing with armored enemies. And with the fact that I modded my Edun for a pure damage build, this bleed is brutal. I use Xata's Whisper and Mimsub's ability as I love to use it with melee weapons. It's a cheap ability that I can reapply easily if I get nullified and allows us to deal a second instance of damage affected by base, elemental, critical and faction damage mods. It double dips on faction damage and body part weaknesses and as we can headshot with this stance, it's even more effective. We were fighting clone flesh enemies, so I modded for Viral as it does plus 75% damage to them. As we already have guaranteed slash procs on the stance, I went for a pure critical damage build, modding Blood Rush, Gladiator Might and Organ Shatter. Note that I used 3 Gladiator mods on my Ash. The stance can feel a bit slow without an attack speed mod, so I modded Prime Fury. And as I primed enemies with my Epitaph, I modded Conditional Overload. And as we played the mission Kappa on Sedna, I modded Prime Smite Grenier. 